Hello there and welcome to a new video. In this one, we are going to be trying out the uh, Android version of Red Dot. Basically, you are also able to use it in your mobile phone as it is in Godot. And this is something that you may not have noticed due to the fact that, well, they didn't like announce it publicly here that there is an Android version. For some people, this may not be super important, but for others, it could actually mean a lot because there are a lot of people that are using their mobiles to at least prototype with the engine. Uh, so actually, if we go to the official GitHub of Red Dot, um, and if we go to Red Dot Engine, over here on the Releases tab, besides having, um, here in the assets, besides having the different versions for the different operating systems, we even have here the uh, Android editor, okay? So this is exactly what we are going to be checking out uh, in this video. And by the way, by the way, if you just want to see how Red Dot works uh, on Windows, okay, on desktop, uh, you can go and check this video that I uploaded uh, just some days ago. So here I am on my mobile phone um, in the repository, okay? more exactly in the release uh, page. So here in the assets, I will look for the Android editor version, exactly this one. Um, and it even provides you the templates, okay, in order to build uh, your game. Okay, so that's quite interesting. Um, so I will just click here on androideditor.zip and then I will just uh, go ahead and download it. And well, then here in my download, I have the zip file, so I will click on here and it will extract it exactly on my downloads folder over there. And um, I will get this folder and uh, this folder will actually have four items, okay? So uh, these four, uh, these two uh, green ones are the corresponding APKs. And uh, they also provide the AAV uh, files of both versions. Uh, and basically, these AAB files are the ones that are uploaded to Google Play Store. I don't really know why they have uh, also put the AAB files uh, in this folder, okay? But well, maybe this because uh, soon uh, the version is going to be live in the Google Play Store as Godot is uh, right now. But anyway, uh, I found these uh, two versions, okay? To be honest, I couldn't spot the difference between the two, just that this one is much lighter than this one. As you can see, this one is uh, 150 uh, uh, megabytes, and um, this one over here is just 50 megabytes. Um, so just in case, I will uh, download the one that is the, the, the heaviest. Um, to actually make sure that we have all the features available and everything. And actually, both have the name here uh, of debug. And by the way, they say here go to instead of Red Dot or, or something like that. Um, so as you can see, both um, tend, seem to be the exact same application. But well, I will just download this one. It is possible that if it is your first time uh, downloading this application or downloading things from outside of the Google Play Store, you may be asked to give some permissions um, or something like that. So you just give those permissions and you're going to be able to install it. So I will just click there, install it. For example, here uh, my my phone is analyzing this or, uh, or whatever. So I will just click here once again, open, and I should be able to uh, get inside of Red Dot. And well, as, as it happens in Godot, uh, in Godot Mobile, the first thing that uh, you have here is to allow access to manage all the files. So we can just give that access and press over here on the top to come back. And now here we are in uh, in Red Dot, okay? Here, the, the, the name, it is indeed updated, the icon and everything. We have the new theme, we have the logo here. Uh, so the rebranding is indeed um, complete, okay? So, for example, we would be able to go here and create a brand new uh, project. For example, we'll name this one Red Dot. Okay, and we have the exact same renders. Uh, I will just leave the, the one of mobile. Um, and I will click uh, Create and Edit. Once again, we see the corresponding logo uh, and name. Well, it did took a while. It took, I think, a little bit more than uh, Godot takes to actually create a project in the Android version. Uh, but anyway, uh, the thing that is that it was actually able to open the project up. And also here in the output, we're getting um, some stuff over here. I think that this warning over here, this one in in yellow, I was I was also having it in Godot Android. Uh, but well, this error over here, I think, is also in a uh, Godot desktop. Okay. 
So of course this is something understandable as uh, this version of Redos has only been developed for something like one, two weeks. So uh, that's why there are probably some minor errors, but look, the engine itself um, it maybe works uh, completely okay and you're able to create your own games and everything. Um, so just a quick recap on the new stuff. You are probably seeing it right now, basically the the new theme, uh, the new red theme. And actually if you go to editor, then editor settings, in the interface, then theme, well here you see that the uh, this color is the red one. Uh, and actually in the presets, if you want it, you could change to go dot. And if we give it now uh, a second, it should change like to the, literally the exact same interface as the one that you may have um, in Godot, there we have it, and you can see it seems like as if it were the exact same engine uh, as Godot, I mean, so I will just uh, put it back to the default one, and in this case would be the one of Red Dot. So the other new thing that we should also be able to see um, is the fact that now we have a, what is called a horizon color. Uh, so here we have it, and for example here we could make this horizon I know, uh, blue, for example, okay, so there we have these kinds of blue horizon, then, for example, we can make the sky, I don't know, green, this is just so that you can see how all the colors blend, um, of course, this will probably look super awful, but, well, this is just for you to, to see how all this would blend in, so, for example, something like this, okay, you see how the ground is white, the horizon is some kinds of pink, red color, and then the actual sky is completely green, okay? And this horizon color is new in Red Dot. It's something that Red Dot has implemented. So now I will just create something super simple, okay, to try out a little bit the workflow. Uh, as usual, the workflow in mobile is a little bit slower because you have to use your own fingers because the screen is super small, but well, this is something that it doesn't have to do directly with Red Dot, but well, with the, with mobile versions of engines in, in, in general. Uh, so I will go ahead and create a brand new to the scene, for example. Uh, I will save this scene, save scene, and I will save it over here. Then I will attach a new script, uh, and I will do it exactly like this. Okay, so as you can see, everything is working just fine. Um, now uh, here in the script folder, in the script section, sorry, uh, I will, for example. Uh, create the ready function exactly like this so func and then underscore ready okay and something that Redo has by default are the hints I think that this option is called uh, that basically well the for example the functions auto complete their return uh, types um, and then for example over here I will just do print and I will just do a super simple hello world now let's uh, play this uh, scene with this button and let's give it just a second and here we are we also have this button over here I don't really know what this does uh, or if this was even implemented in Red Dot or if it is something from a uh, go to Android okay I have literally no idea so I will just press it Oh, well, this option is amazing because it actually allows you to, for example, see here the remote notes. And previously, this this wasn't available, okay? Um, so this is amazing if Red Dot was able to implement it or if it is something that was directly created in Godot and um, and that. But, well, uh, we have here the message. So, indeed, everything that here Red Dot uh, does is amazing, okay? Because everything is, um, is working as it should, okay? So, well, uh, let me know what you think about uh, this in the comments down below. And as, uh, as usual, I really look forward to answering you all. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel because I am always uploading new content and even more now because of all this drama of Godot, Red Dot and all that. So I really recommend you subscribe right now. See you in the next one and bye bye.